oh my gosh I was just watching this what am I supposed to say? I don't know I was just watching a speech a TED Talks video and it was a lady talking about introversion and why introverts are great and anyway oh my gosh it was such a great speech definitely check it out <clears throat> it's called The Power of Introverts by Susan Cain Susan Cain is my new idol and it just made me really emotional. I don't know. I'm sat here getting ready to film a review of an eyeshadow palette. And I'm just very emotional. Oh my gosh, who am I right now? But anyway, guys, that is a great speech, particularly if you're an introvert. Like, check it out. Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I've got my sequin scrunching today. Oh my gosh, like, I have got so much enjoyment out of this sequin scrunchie. I know that that probably sounds extremely shallow and superficial but look at it there just like glistening away and I feel like it makes other people happy as well you know when they just see it atop my head anyway guys I hope it makes you happy as well today we're not here to talk about my scrunchie unfortunately but no we're here to test out an eyeshadow palette this is one that I got from <laughs> Aliexpress of course I hauled this recently in the haul like I said I did not have any recollection of actually buying this palette and I still don't but then I checked back through my Aliexpress purchases sure enough it was there so I must have just been kind of captivated one night my pants popped off and I bought it so this is by the brand of Febble it's not a brand that I'm familiar with on aliexpress so this is like very new to me this cost seven pounds 76 like i was surprised to see that i had actually bought this palette but what surprised me more was that i spent seven pounds 76 on a brand that i'm not familiar with and also like on an eyeshadow palette because i know that might sound like super cheap to a lot of people but to me who is a budget kind of makeup shopper that's actually like way way out of my usual budget to flick it open this is what she looks like she reminds me a little bit of like a kylie jenner palette Blech. no i'm just joking but Blech. like literally anyway it's very cool toned you've got five shimmer kind of metallics in a cross formation and then you've got four mattes around the side it is very cool toned but it's like my kind of palette I definitely find that my pants pop off for a good cool toned palette and it's a shame because there's not really that many of them about this palette does have a warm tone sister so if you're not a huge fan of cooler tones it does have a warm tone version so we've got the cooler toned and then this is the warmer toned this is one I've got uh, okay so this oh, guys literally thank you for liking my photos I'm trying to film it. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. This is what the warm tone palette looks like, as you can see. Oh, it's £7.8. Oh, £7.86. Did I say it was £7.76 a minute ago? It looks like it's increasing in price by the second. But, um, yeah, so this is by the brand Febble. And it just says uh, nine. Well, I'm not going to read out what it says because it's nonsense. Like, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I'm just going to pop my phone on charge. Um, before we get into the filming, pop in the phone on charge. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Come to the cabaret, my friend. Come to the cabaret. Ooh. Oh my gosh, there's it like a bee or wasp, some loudspeaker flying around my room right now. So if you can just hear like a bzzz. That's not my dildo. Like, I did not leave it on. This is some fecking annoying flying creature that just wants to destroy my life right now. I'm just going to swatch this beautiful little thing. And then we're going to move straight on to an eye look. So, okay, let's do... Oh, my God. I'm just dying for this palette, by the way. I think the shape, the colours are so beautiful. So, I'm going to begin with the mattes. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> it's so creamy. Like, it just feels like I've put my finger in some KY jelly oh my gosh okay they look very nicely pigmented as well can you see oh my gosh like I think I kind of took a risk with this palette because it is a little bit more expensive but I feel like I'm hoping I um 
Wow. Hello. They're mats, but they don't they don't appear to be mats. They're so soft and buttery and silky. Okay, so we've got one two oh they're so soft guys there's none of that kind of chalky powdery feeling okay so here we have the mattes they look really really beautiful these actually feel very similar to the eyeshadows in my tz cosmetics firefly palette and those eyeshadows are formulated with clay which makes them very kind of soft but dense at the same time so i don't know if these are made with clay like it didn't say it didn't say if it was made from clay so we have no way of knowing anyway okay so next we're going to swatch the shimmers that be it oh seriously guys do you not understand the meaning of silence right now should i open the window let me just open the window he might like i'm feeling bad for the poor guy now like he wants to escape he doesn't want to be here like, I don't want him here, but I don't think he really is happy here, you know what I mean? Incessantly insisting on bizzing, bizzing, buzzing, whatever. There's like long lost friends outside just having the loudest conversation ever. But, okay, let's just swatch these. Oh my gosh, so soft. Okay, so these are the first three. They've just got that beautiful kind of wet look to them. Here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They almost feel like nothing, you know, kind of going on because they're so soft. I mean, they're definitely not as metallic as like, you know, Javai's Place. They've got a beautiful kind of glow to them almost. Okay, so we will swatch the final two. <gasps> oh, oh gosh, guys, look at this. <gasps> Okay, so, oh, 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 wow, look at that, guys, wow, these two are great, is there something about my two, these two fingers, uh, Peter Pointer and Ruby Ring, is there something about these two guys that makes swatching really good, let's just swatch the others again, with, uh, the two super swatchers, <gasps> oh, yes, guys, look, these ones look even more sensational, oh my gosh, Guys, let me just swatch these again. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I could literally sit here all day swatching away with my little wasp friend. Quite happy. The swatches did not disappoint. I'm so eager to just get this on my eyes, as I'm sure you are as well. You're thinking, I'm when. Do not mention that wasp or bee ever again, I'm when. Totally boring to us. We do not care your struggles that you're going through right now. I'm going to just get my brushes out, which actually that doesn't take much effort because I prepared them earlier on my bed. I've opened the window for you, dude. It's there. Get out of the window right now. Escape. Make your bid for freedom. The world is yours. It's waiting. So I have set my eyes. Set my eyes. What? Okay, I'm going to shut the window now. Okay, so I am ready to rock and roll. I'm going to begin with this beautiful kind of tan shade. And to apply this, I'm going to be using uh, this brush here by Morphe. Oh no, this brush is too big, I think. But anyway, we'll just... This is not the brush that I was expecting. Oh my gosh. Where's my Morphe that I actually wanted to use? Okay, so I can't find it, so I'm just going to use this one. I mean... Yellow. Oh my gosh, this has got a lovely amount of pigment to it. Can you see? I'm going to go back in again. Also, they're not kicking off that much powder. You know, sometimes when you pop your brush in a pan and you're just in the middle of like a, a dust storm, these ones don't seem to have that much kick off to them. So I'm just going to be blending this into my crease. Okay, so I think that looks really, really good so far. But I am just going to go in again just to try and, you know, build, build that crease up. Okay, so I'm really, really pleased with that. So next we're going to go in with 
a smaller brush again this one is by Morphe uh, Morphe <laughs> I am going to be going in with peaches that one's called peaches what why is that called peaches the names don't have any like I don't know like I I don't look at this beautiful soft pastel shade and think fire and it's called fire um, and this one's called lifesaver this one's tempting cotton candy like this one should be cotton candy and like maybe fire but like more like just a candle lit giving off a little bit of fire I don't know but we're going to go in with peaches but I'm going to rename it camel and I'm just going to pop that kind of lower in my crease okay so I am really into what's happening right now on my eye I don't know I feel like it it should have taken longer than it did but the eyeshadows so far are just very creamy they're blending out really really nicely I actually really appreciate about them as well is that they've got a nice amount of pigment to them which doesn't completely kind of fade away as you're blending I find a lot of the time eyeshadows will just like fade and look quite diluted you know if you're if when you're blending so these ones don't seem to do that they just blend out beautifully next i'm going to take the two shades that i've just used on my eye and i'm just going to pop those underneath my lower waterline okay and i'm also going to be using the brush that i should have just used to blend those out under my lower lash line and i'm just going to go in with a bit of a lifesaver like i'm almost stamping it on in a way to add a little bit of drama and you know what I'm tempted to do as well although there's probably not much point because I am going to be putting a shimmer on my lid but I'm just going to pop a little bit of that in the outer vagina it's got a little bit of fallout on my chico just change my brush okay so next we're going to go in with a shimmer and today i want to begin with this pinky shade and then i feel like i might try one of the like darker shades just so that we can kind of really like try as many of the shades as possible i'm going to use my finger like i know that these are going to work so much better with your finger so here it is Oh my gosh she's so pretty guys like i am gonna also try this with a bit of fix plus as well in a minute but i, I really don't feel like i need to look at that like it doesn't look as glowy on the eye as you might think you know from the swatch and from seeing it on your finger but it's definitely left a lovely kind of lightness there we are next going to try a little bit of a wet brush uh, with some fix plus oh my gosh i've just sprayed the camera in can you see how much that just like instantly transforms the eyeshadow okay so there we go look at that guys i mean really okay so on the outer vagina i am going to go in with this kind of coppery uh, shade just to kind of give us a little bit of like a gradient okay so there we go i don't think like you can really see that i've put two different shades on there like i'm really liking this look it's very kind of smoky but quite natural and i think quite understated so i'm really really loving it and so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna do my other eye off camera and then i'll be back to give you my final thoughts on this okay so i am back i have finished my eye look which sadly you probably can't really see that well because i've put these massive feck off falsies on but if i just show you kind of this isn't up close or anything i feel like i don't know i might as well be sat behind a frosted 
glass window right now but I hope you can kind of see the eye look I am a huge fan of this eyeshadow palette it's definitely one of the very best that I've bought from AliExpress and like I couldn't even remember buying it so it's a little bit like a bizarre one and also never heard of the brand Febble before and I don't really think it's like the best name but I mean what what's in the name I mean I'm called Anne when you know what I mean? I loved the mattes in this palette. I love the kind of shimmers. I love them both equally. I think they're both beautiful. The shimmers, like with all shimmers, are definitely kind of transported to a whole other dimension by using a wet brush. That looks like it's... <laughs> this looks so suspicious right now. If you've not watched my channel before and you don't know what that is, you're thinking, is that the dildo Anwen was talking about before? or an anal plug like I think it looks like an anal plug personally but this is my lip plumper oh my gosh anyway guys sorry I had to point that out I couldn't just like leave it in there because I thought there's going to be some people that actually believe that is an anal plug the mattes the shimmers beautiful I also love the shades in this palette they're very cool toned which I happen to love and I would certainly recommend this to you if you like cool toned eyeshadows as i mentioned earlier they do have a warmer toned version which i'm pretty sure the quality would be just as good as this one but obviously you then you have the warmer shades so like i feel very glamorous right now this is probably the most glamorous i've been in in a week or so I, i'm just really liking it i just think you can see the like you could see as I was blending them how beautifully they blended but I think even on my eye like you could see that these are like beautiful eyeshadows there's like beautiful eyeshadows have gone into making this eye look I don't know what I'm saying anymore but anyway I really love this palette I'm so pleased that I got it I feel like you know not to mention Kylie Jenner again but to mention her again I feel like this looks very similar to one of her palettes but I actually don't think her palette would be as good quality as this and I mean I don't know what's making me say that other than it's Kylie Jenner but I don't want to be like mean or shady or anything but I mean yeah anyway guys this is great love it 100 million percent recommend it to you so this video has come to a close I hope you're having a lovely oh my gosh this eyelash is on its way out by the way I know I didn't apply my eyelashes very well today and I should have cut this one a bit shorter but oh well just living my life over here the fly is gone you'll be very pleased to know he fecked off a while ago hallelujah i mean thank you he's probably pissing honeys and the boys off downstairs <laughs> but anyway guys i hope you're having a fantastic day today my scrunchie said thank you so much for spending some time with us i hope you're having a wonderful day and i will see you in the next video bye